What is going on, YouTubers? I'm doing another video today. We're going to do the XM Hawkeye review. Before we get to that, I just want to give a little earthquake update. I had about 90 aftershocks yesterday. A lot of little subtle ones. A few that were, you know, 4.5, like, mini earthquakes in essence. But nothing huge. They've definitely slowed down a ton. Had about four this morning. Nothing last several hours. So I think the worst of it is definitely in the past. Uh, I've been able to glue Warcraft so he's now displayable. I found the steel jaw for Grimlock and just had a few broken toes. He's fixed. Squeaks is fine. Black Widow is on her base. She's fine. Uh, Superman, he is fine. Fixed pretty much everything. Just gonna do a fabric cape, which is fine. The DBZ stuff that broke, mostly was broken already, just rebroke, glued it all back. So nothing major. I, I think I really lucked out. It could have been so much worse if shelves collapsed and whatnot. So definitely a lesson to be learned for the future. Uh, you know, I'm definitely gonna invest in earthquake insurance for the future, uh, cause I didn't have it, but everything was gluable. No big deal. Uh, Thanks to all the supporters on the channel who, you know, wished me, uh, you know, best of whatever. So thanks to that. Also had plenty of haters. You guys probably didn't see the comments because I deleted them, but definitely tons of haters on the channel. They all, they all came out saying I deserved it and karma and whatnot. But, you know, nothing huge was damaged. All my grails are fine. So haters always going to hate. Uh, definitely not karma. Uh, it's, you know, natural disasters happen everywhere. There's definitely way worse people off. My local buddy who's never done a harmful thing to anyone, he had his XM Scorpion break. That's a $2,500 statue and it's to completely destroyed. Did he deserve that? Absolutely not. So those type of people are just horrible in my opinion. But now let's get on to XM Hawkeye. One four skill statue. So... He is displayable in two options. Uh, up here, he can stand on top of this like pipe and on top of this cement block, or you can have his foot resting on top of this. There's basically, you remove that, peg goes in there, and then his foot rests right here and you can remove that. However, having him displayed lower makes him look too small next to this massive Captain America statue, because that's like an overscaled version from Iron Studios. So I'm definitely displaying them up high. I feel like it looks much better in the display. This particular Stuva is all comic statues. You have comic Captain Marvel and the Iron Studios comic Spider-Man. And then everything else is movie. So now I have a pure comic cube right here in addition to my X-Men one, all comic related. And now I have a Hawkeye one fourth. Now this is the original Avengers cast. You got all of them. And most of them are in the same pose as my actual poster there. So now you'll see we got Hawkeye right there, pointing his arrow, shooting it, and this is what we got. So it works perfectly. Has a great presence on the shelf with him displaying up high. So presence looks good. Overall, I definitely like the statue quite a bit. I think it looks great in my setup. I'm happy I got it. Uh, I bought this from Spec Fiction. It got it for 700 shipped. Great price, great customer service, shipped it quickly. Uh, and so let's check out this base. So this is a, really a destroyed like city type base. It definitely fits uh, my Avengers theme, you know, Hulk similar. So I like the base quite a bit. It fits in with my display. It's not a space hog by any means, which is really nice. You got this fire hydrant. See how it's fallen. There's rubble and cement everywhere. Really, really nice looking base. I like it quite a bit. You got these pipes that clearly are gonna go into some sort of building. Probably building fell over. So Hawkeye taking advantage of the environment, utilizing the pipe, standing on the cement to shoot this arrow at a Chitari soldier or whoever. So let's check out the boots first. Uh, purple, have some texture work, good weathering. His main costume is blue with hints of purple on the edges. No texture in that, but that's completely fine. They put textures in the right place. 
you know, like this leather strap, looks like real leather with the textures. There's lots of detail on that arrow quiver he's holding. The skin detail looks great. Lots of detail, vein work in the arms. Face looks good, very determined. Eyes are well painted. And I'm currently displaying this arrow. The I would view this as an explosion arrow. I think it looks the best among the arrows. So I'll mostly display with this and possibly the grapple arrow. Uh, so it looks great. The costume looks way better and statue overall looks way better than the sideshow version. Wasn't a big fan of that. There's an H for Hawkeye. I'm a much bigger fan actually of the comic version of Hawkeye versus the movie version. You know, having watched Avengers Assemble, I liked him quite a bit. He had much more personality and, you know, I liked him a, quite a bit there. So it's not, not too bothersome to have this comic version next to my movie stuff. I think overall looks great. The pose is nice. Uh, the arrow is quite detailed. You got a real string and it's real metal. It's funny, you can see Hawkeye right there in the background. <laughs> And yeah, it's really high quality. Everything fit together great, except for that leather uh, like quiver holder. Uh, I actually had to glue the top parts as maybe weather warped it. Cause, uh, it was like raining last night, kind of cold. Overall, it's a nice looking statue though. Uh, I think there are some areas for improvement. Uh, they should have included uh, unmasked portrait. Uh, that's definitely a big miss opportunity. I actually probably would have displayed the unmasked portrait uh, for the most part had they included it. They included plenty of arrows, a switch out bow that's more of a like classic bow where this is the more modern version. I'll display the modern version 100% of the time. I prefer modern. Thing, uh, you know, I like the additional detail and whatnot. I like how they include multiple arrows. Just an additional head would have been nice. I love how you have two display options. You know, depending, depending on your display, if you need extra, you know, height space, you can just lower them. For my particular display, it just looks better having them displayed like this. But you know, if you're looking for a Hawkeye, this is definitely a great option. The other Hawkeye is the Sideshow one. Not a big fan. There are some customs out there but I hate playing that custom game and they're such a hassle and generally they're not that good quality in person. You know, so this is definitely the best route for me. It fits my display and space is definitely of concern considering my display setup. But yeah, he looks great. I'm quite happy with it. I'd give the statue an overall score of eight out of 10. I think paint and sculpt is great, pose is good. Just would have loved some additional switch out portraits. I do like the base, it fits my theme of Avengers. Let me show you guys his uh, poster as well, because as you know, XMs always come with posters. So I'm putting it right here. Same pose as the statue, you got Iron Man in the background. Uh, you know, they're in the middle of the city fighting. So I'm gonna display it right there, uh, you know, since the statue is right above it. So I think that's a good place to put it here in my Black Widow setup. Black Widow is fine in case you're wondering. She just has some damaged gun holsters, but not a huge deal. I was able to fix pretty much everything and I'm just gonna leave her on this base instead of the custom other base I had. She was not secure there. Had she been on this base originally, she never would have fallen. She fell on the other one because she wasn't secure. So everything's fine though. Uh, Superman's fine, just doing a fabric cape. I fixed pretty much all the scratches and issues on him. Just keep them here for safekeeping in case there's anything else that comes, like an aftershock. But other than that, I think I really lucked out on the whole Earthquick thing. This could have been so much worse. Uh, you know, imagine if Ghost Rider fell and collapsed onto Hulkbuster or my $3,000 shockwave fell apart. Yeah, you know, there definitely could have been a lot of things. All my wall statues could have fallen. That would have sucked horribly. I definitely lucked out. And I'm glad Hawkeye wasn't here during the earthquakes. Who knows, uh, he could have fallen over. So luckily him and Mystique arrived right after and all the aftershocks are pretty much going away. Let's get a, no, a few this morning. But overall, I think this looks great. Got my originals Avengers cast matching my poster behind it. You know, and this is the comic and then the rest is movie. 
the movie villains and my little x-men section which i think looks awesome real happy with mystique i think she looks amazing here and how i have this displayed yeah so here it is xm hawkeye Let me know your thoughts. How do you like it? She'll be getting Temple Studio Vegeta next, so look out for that video. And then likely after that, uh, Logan Bust, or Wolverine Bust, and then probably the Iron Studios Thanos Endgame. That uh, still shows shipping March. Just waiting for that to show in stock so I can use a coupon code and points to get that. As soon as that's in stock, I'll buy it and have it two days later. I'm actually going to be working from home the next two plus months. Uh, I heard from our CEO today, so I love working from home. So I'm actually loving that I can work from home the next two months, be home for all my statues, you know, watch my house and whatnot. So I love working from home. So I'll probably wait a week before I return Superman and some of the other smaller statues I took down before I put them back up. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.